Florence Knoll becomes a leading factor at Knoll in the mid-1940s. She's not finding what she wants in interiors textiles at the time, so she's looking at men's suits and she's saying, that's what I want. I want this sort of texture, this sort of color range. And she takes the suiting fabrics and puts them on furniture. That becomes a noted and celebrated aspect of textiles at Knoll. She brought in Herbert Matter. They make the image of Knoll, trying out new graphic design and presentation ideas. And that carried through advertisements and some of the most innovative advertising that was ever done, I would say, for design and for textiles. Florence Knoll is trying out sampling and the presentation of swatches and sample kits. So she was really influential on sort of creating this dividing line between what was considered a classic textile or almost a traditional idea, and she brought it forward to being much more clean and modern. It's always been a focus on texture, on color, um, using textiles to bring sort of a more human aspect into sort of the stark interiors of modernist architects and designers. Part of the legacy of Knoll textiles is the respect that it accords to design and to designers. Knoll Textiles has a real focus on the integrity of design. The work that you do is about making that come to life and to transfer the DNA of a design-driven company into the present. It's what it means to have been around a long time. My greatest contribution from my period of 20 years was that Knoll was synonymous with good design.